Hi Aries, how's everybody doing? Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay, so we're looking at the Six of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Um, for, somebody, for some of you, you're working with somebody from the past to some degree. This even looks like working on something related to stability, related to a relationship, getting things to harmonize in the way that you want them to. You could also be taking things from your past and using even events, circumstances that you have learned from and now applying them to what you're involved with right now. It looks even like things are moving along. Like you may have accomplished something that you were looking to accomplish and things are starting to pick up the pace now. It looks even like you, for some of you, you either hear from somebody from the past or you're getting clarity on something, something related to a past person or past events. Yeah, somebody may be reaching out to you. Interesting. Okay, for some of you, if this is a person that's reaching out from the past, they may want to come through and work on things with you. There's definitely a sense of somebody having feelings here, for sure, with the Queen of Cups. They even want to work on something emotional, want to work together with you. Even with the idea of a relationship in mind. When this person communicates with you, I'm seeing that there's a lot that they're going to be saying. It looks like they're going to be as clear as they can be. I'm seeing them even be straightforward about what's going on with them emotionally and where their head is. It looks too like in the past you could have had a rough patch with this person. Like maybe things went from being harmonious to there being some type of... Um, Something tumultuous happen, happening. It looks even like they want to clarify something. Maybe about why something didn't work or why they reacted in the way that they did. I'm also seeing this be surprising with the tower. Like, maybe something even that's going to catch you off guard. This is a test for you. For absolute sure. You may also be feeling a bit guarded because of how things happened. I'm seeing even something spontaneous that you hadn't been expecting. As for what you've been doing, it looks like you've been um, working on things related to big goals that you have, putting a lot of work in to get things together. There could be something new that you're learning or focusing on, putting a lot of effort even into what you're building for yourself. I'm seeing a lot of consistency, a lot of focus. I'm hearing the word tenacity as well. Yeah, this does feel like a person that's coming through to talk to you. 
as I said before, I'm seeing them like have a lot to say and it seems even like they want to clear something up or there's some sort of important information that they have that they want to give to you. I'm seeing it be like this. With the air energy, this person is going to be all about communication. I'm hearing this time around. It looks too like you've been doing a lot of reflecting as well. This person may have been working on stuff going on within their emotional life. It looks like you have too, and it seems as well that they want to work on something together with you. Something that would lead towards like a goal related to your relationship and maybe even resolve something that had been an issue in the past because I'm seeing something that even looked like you reached a certain point with this person and then things may have fallen apart and that's why you walked away like you could have been feeling good about things and then the way that the way that things maybe seem to slip through your fingers at a certain point, you could have been like, you know what, it seems like you may have built all of these things with this person, and then the tower came through. Maybe even something got exposed for you, and I'm seeing that you had walked away. And maybe that had even been a mutual thing. Um, For some of you as well, there are some transitions that you've been making. This can be related to like job or your personal goals that you have. It seems like you're working more on things related to the emperor, which would be like your legacy. I'm also hearing custom built and looking on reflecting related to your future and where you're heading. I'm seeing too that there's some plans that are being made, but you may feel like you're moving fast and then hit a little bit of a challenge or a standstill and you're going to have to plan around this. I'm seeing like some sort of plan being made that's coming to fruition. I'm looking at Aries, Mars, Virgo. It seems too like there have been a lot of things that you've been thinking about and asking yourself, like, do I feel fulfilled here? Is this resonating with me? And making plans um, connected with whatever answer you're giving yourself and like maybe making some changes. I'm also hearing the word fine tune. So this can even be like tweaking different things. It looks like throughout different areas of your life. But mostly even related to aspirations and things like that. Before you answer this person, you may kind of take a little bit of a breather um, before responding and figuring out what you want to do. Like you may want to reflect on it and ask yourself how you really feel about it rather than giving an immediate response. Yeah, I'm seeing this again. You want to take your time and think about this and ask yourself, like, is this something that you want to reconnect with or do you want to keep moving and not incorporate this into your life, whatever this is from the past? You also may want to feel out this person's intentions too. Because it seems like you're still, like, even healing or processing from something. Like, maybe even the disappointment that you felt because of the ending that you had with this person. Still something that you're working through. It seems too like because of the events that had happened, this led you to like a big shift and transformation within your life. So this could have definitely been the catalyst for some big change for you on a personal level.
like a karmic event that kind of pushed you in the direction you needed to go. Even to the point of taking more control of things, like I'm seeing a notion of you kind of taking fate and destiny into your own hands. Steering the ship here. Okay. Yeah, I am seeing there be potential for you to meet up with this person. Like, even see them face to face. It looks like it's gonna be up to you, the choice that you make here. Like, I'm seeing it can go either way, and it's, again, going to be up to you whether or not you reconnect with this person. Because you may even think that this cycle is over and this may not be something that you do. Because I keep seeing the Four of Cups. So this may not be something that resonates with you or appeals to you. So that's why sorting this out before you give an answer is definitely going to help you know what you want to do here. Getting fluid and moving with things, kind of like adapting to the changes and what's going on around you um, is going to help you adjust for sure. It looks even like there may be something that you that you witness or that you observe that kind of tests you on the emotional front. Like maybe you feel impacted emotionally by something that you see or something that you learn and how you handle this. Um, it may be, again, a little bit of a test for you on the emotional front. But I'm seeing too like changes that you've made even since you last connected with this person. It looks too like since things have ended, this person has been curious about what you've been up to. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody that like in some way they're, they've been connecting with you. Whether this be like they've been thinking about you or looking at your social media, whatever it is. And it looks like they want to talk to you about how they're feeling. There's something about them like wanting to get together with you or reunite in some way. I'm seeing like a message, I'm seeing somebody um, that's definitely feeling some things, even after observing something related to you. Yeah, this is like three times that I've seen it confirmed. It looks very much like this person is going to come through and um, like message you or make some sort of offer towards you. Let you know what's going on with them, where they are, how they're feeling. It looks like both, like, maybe information that they're going to be giving you. Also, like, stuff going on on the emotional front. Looking at Sagittarius. I'm hearing, I'm hearing Zebra, Scorpio, Gemini, Jupiter. Yeah, you are going to, you're going to be the one that gets to make the choice about this, but it, 
for some reason, you may feel like immediately you're not sure what to do. Like, maybe not clear on something enough to, like, make the choice immediately. This may even be something that, like, possibly you don't want to deal with when it happens. So that may make it harder to find the motivation. Like, do I want to go in this direction? Do I want to start this with this person? But as I said before, it looks like it's going to be up to you if this is something that you want to choose to incorporate into your life. Like, I'm not seeing it be a situation that you're kind of forced into. It's more so like you get to decide whether or not you want to participate in this, whether or not you're open to this, open to this person, open to this experience. And for some of you, you're going to choose to let it go because I'm seeing like you're not going to want to go through another cycle with this person. I'm seeing it be very clear even like how you perceive their character and where you think things would go, like maybe even regardless of what they're saying to you now. So it seems like maybe based off of past events, like you already have decided on how you're feeling and you may not be open to this person now. And you may just want to let this go completely. But there's something still about like getting a little bit tripped up over this, like maybe even the things that you want to communicate. But I think you're going to find what you need in order to be able to respond. If you go down this road where you do decide to incorporate this person back into your life, it looks like you may experience an increase in stress just because like, you may find it quite difficult to work with this person, collaborate with this person. Like, You may find that they're still kind of closed off and more difficult to interact with or like find middle ground with. And I think as you recognize that, you may be like, you know what, this isn't worth it to me. I don't want to be stressed out. Because at one point in time, you could have been like, you know what, I'll deal with the stress and deal with this person and it's fine, I'll just put up with it. And now it may be like too much of a price for you. But yeah, I'm seeing that kind of be the thing that has you going back and forth, like trying to figure out what you want to do here. And it may give you like more of a perspective over um, like maybe something that you had still been like undecided about or considering about. Take your time, listen to your intuition. And if you feel stuck in your head about something, don't feel like you need to make a decision yet. Because it seems like any type of resistance that you're feeling or anxiety or stress is going to tell you stuff that you need to know, especially especially like if you're getting caught up in your head about something. There's something about like even waiting until something mentally is resolved before taking action. And definitely trust your gut because I'm seeing something going on where like your intuition is communicating with you and it's telling you... Um, how to go about maneuvering through this process and if that's what you follow like your authentic light and what your gut is telling you I'm seeing that you are going to work through this successfully and like feel good about the outcome of it and where you land I'm just looking at mercury here Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.